After you've made all your parts, now we're going to take it to a drawing page using Inventor. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Google Classroom, and under the About tab, you'll see there's a Riley High School Inventor drawing sheet. I'm going to click on that, and a download page will pop up. Click Download. Using Chrome is the easiest way. It automatically starts downloading on the bottom left of your screen. You'll click on it and it will open this hit skip all and there's our page so you can see I've I've done my parts I've saved it and just in case you don't know how to save it hit the down arrow go to save as uh, put it in a folder um, your Google Drive folder is preferred and I'm going to call this the blue part since I colored it blue hit save alright now that I'm on this drawing page and this is for our high school at Riley High School your teacher might have you make another one you're gonna click base and I'm going to hit this magnifying glass to find the blue part so in my example I saved it on my desktop I did ask you to save it to your uh, Google Drive folder all right. So as I bring my mouse down over my page, you can see what it'll look like. I want the front view, and your front view is important. It tells you uh, the longest distance and the most detail. Those two things are very important. If you can't find the long dis distance or the uh, most detail, if you click on this magnifying glass, you can kind of move it, decide on your longest distance, the most detail, click the green check mark, and it'll pop up. So I'm going to click it one time, left click, I'm going to move straight up, left click, I'm going to bring it down just to the right, left click, and then I'm going to take it to the top corner where it does an isometric drawing, left click and then finally I'm going to right click and click create there we go look at that it adds hidden lines and object lines it just looks almost beautiful I'm going to double left click here and this one is shaded I'm gonna click the shaded hit OK one of the things I'm gonna do is switch over to annotate and dimension alright so I want to do the distance, the height here, I want this distance here. We don't ever want our extend um, our extension lines to cross. In this case, I'm going to bring this one over here. The reason why I'm um, dimensioning over here and not over here is so that our extension lines don't get confused for object lines. I'm going to delete that one. That one's not a very good looking one. To delete it, I just click on it and hit the delete on my keyboard. And then I'm going to do the width. I'm going to hit dimension or D on your keyboard. Bring it down. Again, I'm going to click there and there. You can see my dimension lines are, um, or my numbers are as centered as possible. Looking, I'm not going to dimension this right here because if we know this and know this, we can do some simple subtraction. Same thing with this space right here. If we have this, this, and this, we can do some math and solve that. So you don't want to uh, over dimension your drawings. You want to make sure you have height, width, and depth and then any details. The last thing we're going to do is add some text to it. And so I'm going to click on the text A, click on where it says title, drawing title, and I'm going to call this my blue part for my puzzle. I'm going to click on where it says class period, and this is for first period. And finally, our scale. Okay. Um, I know it's one-to-one -one because I remember doing it one-to-one. -one. 
just in case you forget, you can double click and look right here where it tells you the scale at which you brought it in. All right. It put my name on it. It'll put yours too. The date might not be the same date that you just did this. What it'll be is the date of when you started this part drawing. All right. This looks great. Hit my down arrow. Click Save As. Again, saving it to your um, Google Drive folder. And I'm going to change this to Blue Part Drawing. I'm going to hit save and skip all. And you can see down here it is saved as blue part drawing, IDW. And you are all done. Move on to the next one. Good job.